It is virtually impossible to get Daniel Cormier off the mats. DC, I got you away from there. You're breaking a sweat. You're warming up there. You're wrestling. You're back on the mats. How excited are you? I'm excited, man. Uh, it's harder than I remember. I mean, got a little winded, uh, but I'm excited. Very exciting news, though. Brand new shoe. This has got to be a dream come true for a guy like you who loves to wear shoes like this. I mean, it's a dream come true for any any kid, you know, anybody that's ever wrestled. Uh, got my own wrestling shoe, and uh, I'm excited about it. You know, it's uh, I never could have imagined that uh, this would ever happen. There's a lot of changes happening in the wrestling world. You guys are working with the Boys and Girls Club. There's so many things. You guys are planning to take this to a new level. What does that mean to you? Well, it means a ton. I mean, I think that there's no better sport than wrestling to, to have kids do. You gain discipline, work ethic, determination, commitment. Um, not only is it good for the kids that are wrestling, but it's good to raise the awareness, you know, because not only will you become a better wrestler, you'll become a better person, a better human being as you leave the sport of wrestling. What is the future of wrestling, though, in terms of A, the United States, B, growing it globally as well? Well, I think it can be one of the best sports to actually even watch visually. But it will take some changes as they've already started to do. Um, it's an exciting sport for me. I enjoy watching it. But you know what? Every sport needs work and every sport has to evolve. And that's what wrestling is doing right now. You need to evolve despite being a former Olympian. Tomorrow, you're taking on Chris. Uh, this, it's not going to be pretty for you. No, I'm not sure, man. This dude's good. He's tough and... uh. I think he's coming over here, you know, he's kind of coming into our house, you know, the UFC Fan Expo, and we're bringing him in, and well, he's the favorite, you know, he's supposed to win, so just hope I can make a good account for myself. There is no favorite versus Daniel Cormier. I cannot <laughs> wait for this boat to go down tomorrow at the UFC Fan Expo.